ela é mais do que fadista. Ela gosta de ser conhecida como uma cantora colorida. In Greece, she was called the diva of a different faro. In France, she was called a virtuoso of the stage. In Portugal, she appreciates to be known as a colorful singer, a singer filled with the colors of the country she loves so much and with which Anna Lange has been painting her music since 1999. This was the year when she became a professional musician after winning Portugal's top faro competition in Lisbon. Ana Lange carries fado and the Portuguese folk in her voice, but she goes even further. In 2006, with the release of the debut album Sentidos, Ana Lange is considered one of the great newcomers of the year, and the British magazine Songlines underlines the contemporary freshness of her approach to fado. In 2010, Anna Lange released the album Quatro Caminhos, which was widely acclaimed. In the Netherlands, the Jazz's magazine considers the record to be the real world music coming from Portugal, and Vipro Gids refers to the elegance and natural control of her singing. In Australia, the Daily Planet radio show agrees and underlines the pure and powerful voice of Anna Lange. Her international career took a leap in 2009 when Anna Lange accepted the award-winning singer Boy George's invitation to feature the song Amazing Grace. The British pop icon considered her voice to be sublime. In 2014, Anna Lange was nominated ambassador for the commemorations of the eight centuries of the Portuguese language. The event had its culminating point in a sold-out concert in Lisbon for 1,500 people, where Anna Lange invited some of the most significant artists of the Portuguese-speaking countries, such as the Brazilian Ivan Lynch, the Angolan Aline Frazão, or the Portuguese Paulo do Carvalho. These commemorations included an educational tour in the United States with concerts and workshops about Faro and the Portuguese language in some of the most prestigious American universities. Following the success of this tour, Anna Lange returned to the United States to give one of the best performances at the Lobo Folk Fest. Two thousand and seventeen will be the year of the long awaited new album of this colorful singer named Anna Lange, who's already one of the most remarkable artists in the Portuguese music scene. Se eu tiver que, que usar uma palavra para resumir a minha música, eu uso o termo Portugalidade, não é? E se eu não nasci do fado, nem das saudades de alguém, e se eu não nasci do Eu não nasci de